Hi everyone, welcome to Dashboard Fridays. I'm Adam from Squared Up, and today I am joined by my colleague Amy. Hey Amy. Hi Adam. Amy is our lead product advocate. Um, so if you've signed up for Squared Up Cloud, you'll have had an email from um, her or somebody in the team. Um, and it's so obviously very, very good to see Amy building dashboards for for Squared Up. Um, today we're talking about another entry from our um, dashboard competition. Amy, I've brought your dashboard up on screen. Why don't you tell us all a little bit about it? Sure. So this is the cloud customer support dashboard. Um, I've built this using Zendesk, the web API and Jira plugins. And basically what I'm showing here is a bunch of stuff about incoming uh, customer support tickets and also some other bits that are relevant to a customer perspective. So we've got CSAT, MPS, uh, open bugs, um, and things like that on here too. Nice. So it's making a link between the the requests that people are raising through the support team. Um, and you mentioned Zendesk, which is the platform we use for our knowledge base, as well as all our ticket handling. And Jira is then where bugs would be logged or work items for engineering. Yep. Why was it Why was it useful to sort of have this in in one place? Is there is there some is there a big benefit in just having this sort of good overview? Yeah, definitely. Um, I have a background in customer support and and usually this kind of stuff is is housed in different tools in different places and you have to flick between, you know, one tool to another to kind of just get an overview of what's going on. It's useful to see things like how many bugs are open in line with incoming tickets because you can see if, you know, if something's really going horribly, horribly wrong um, or if things are going really well as well. Um, so, yeah, it's really helpful to just have an overview of kind of the state of, of things and they're all very much, you know, intertwined and customer support being on the front line is often the first you know the first place you'll know if things are going going wrong nice um so you used um you mentioned the web api uh, what's what are you doing with that yeah so we're using um that to pull in csat and mps um from our provider okay cool so yeah we, we use a, another tool um in, in addition to all of those um so being able to track i guess so customer satisfaction is obviously just about the support team um, obviously here at Squared Up, that never goes below 100. So you could argue it's not even worth really showing these days. Um, NPS is interesting because that is a measure of how likely people say they'll be to actually promote Squared Up. That's quite a cool metric for us to track. And obviously it's very heavily influenced by their interactions with the product and with the support team. So yeah, I can see some good some good value in having there. Um, I can see things like average reply time, average first response. Why, why, are, why are they sort of useful to, to see? Yeah, again, again, they're just useful to get that that overview. You know, if uh, it's it's good to, to have such a quick uh, response time. Obviously, the difference between first response and average average reply there's a is a slight difference um, in those. So it's good to have them both, and you know they're both quite close as you can see on the dashboard, which is great to see. But you know, if we started to see a big difference between those two, it might kind of warrant further investigation. So it's just good to have uh, to have that on here as well. Nice. And I guess in that, um, the grid tile in the bottom, those are all sort of row linked. So you could click that, it would take you to Zendesk. You could actually dig into the ticket directly. That's pretty yeah, cool. Exactly. Um, the graph along the top, the the sort of spiky line chart, um, we mm -hmm. I think we can say we, we do pretty good in that we don't get a huge number of, of support requests. Um, so it, I guess it looks quite jagged because there's there's not a lot of data to show. I see on that that tile it specifically says it's locked to current year. Um, I guess the rest of the dashboard is linked up to page time frame. Yeah, right? exactly. So that graph there, we've got that uh, you know current year, and then everything else will will change with the with the filter at the top there. Okay. Um. So if you changed it, for example, to seven days now, it would the whole the whole dashboard will change, and we'll just see what's going on in in the last the last week. Yeah. Exactly. So. If I just pop that into seven days now, uh, you can see everything's refreshed there. Nice. Yeah, that's really awesome. Um, the, um, the All of these plugins are pretty simple to configure. The only one that really takes any effort is the the Web API plugin. And we're using that because we haven't got a, a specific plugin for the for the tool we use to do the, the customer feedback. Um, overall, generally a pretty easy dashboard to, to build, I'd guess. Yeah, it was really straightforward. Um, was able to kind of get get what I needed from Zendesk and Jira really easy, and then it was just a case of of making the link with the with the web API there. Um, but yeah, it didn't didn't take very long to set up at all. 
Nice. So, it, I mean, it's probably worth saying, I mean, you, you only joined Squared Up quite recently. So, mm -hmm. you, I mean, you understand Zendesk and you understand Jira, you know, the tools that you're connecting to, but Squared Up was, was pretty new to you when you built this dashboard. Um, so, yeah, I think it's pretty, I guess, hopefully reassuring to people to see that as long as you, you understand what you want to see, it's actually pretty easy to make it happen. Great. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Is there anything else to call out on this dashboard or should I go ahead and wrap us up? Yeah, I think that's it. Good. All right. Uh, well, thank you very much for, for joining me for your first first um, visit to Dashboard Fridays. I am sure we'll get you back for another one. Um, for those of you watching, um, if you need any help with anything, you can head over to community.squadup.com. Community Answers is our forum. Um, we've got about three, three and a half thousand members these days. Topics from anything from our products to monitoring, SQL, all sorts of stuff. Um, and if you want to see any other examples, um, if you haven't been to our dashboard gallery yet, squaredup.com slash dashboard gallery. Uh, but yeah, uh, just a final thanks to Amy for joining and thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Thanks, Adam. Bye.